आकाशवाणी का यह दिल्ली केंद्र है कृपया हमारे अगले कार्यक्रम की प्रतीक्षा कीजिए ये आकाशवाणी है प्रस्तुत है टोक्यो समर ओलंपिक्स 2020 में आज के खेलों का लेखा जोखा टोक्यो ओलंपिक्स 2020 Hello and a very warm welcome to All India Radio. I'm Sakshi Mandwal and today happens to be one of the biggest days in the history of Indian hockey and of course Tokyo Olympics 2020. That's because the Indian men's hockey team went on to make history after 41 years by defeating Germany 5-4 and thereby grabbing the bronze medal for themselves. Produce this Indian some memorable hockey. And they push the game forward again. Those are the bronze medalists. India. It's one of those days which will go down to be carved in India's history when we look at hockey and its sports and definitely today could be the face changer for hockey in the coming years in India. We start our show today by first of all bringing you what Graham Reed and Harman Preet Singh had to say at the end of that beautiful game that we witnessed today ye hai bhartiya coach graham reed if, if you're talking about today's match it was a fantastic performance apart from the first 7 or 8 minutes we were a little bit asleep i think and uh and of course against a team like germany uh you pay the price and and you you could tell from the very first whistle that, that they were very pumped today as in the germans were you saw some very uh very nice hockey from both teams but i think we uh, we were able to put the ball in the net which which has been uh, lacking at certain stages during during the tournament but uh, but i think today was was really uh, a great fight back we got back to one all and then then they got back to on top of us and and uh, 3-1 down and i think one of the pleasing performances of the day was to be 3-1 down um, after having lost the semi final most teams would would struggle a little, little bit with that mentally and i think it showed you where the group was today when when we came back to 2-3 and then back to 3-3 and then you know getting up to 5-3 was it's uh, it was quite quite a, a wonderful performance today ab aaiye sunte hain harman preet singh ne kya kaha sabhi indian ke liye i think aur jitne bhi hum players hain unke liye bahut special moment hai kyunki olympic mein medal leke aana bahut badi baat hai and it's me जैसे कोच ने बोला कि बहुत सेक्रीफाइस किया है तो हाफ ईयर हम बैंगलोर में थे लॉकडाउन था एंड जैसे बोला इन आउट हो रहे थे है ना प्रैक्टिस चल रही है सडनली ऑफ हो जा रहा है फोकस था कि अपना मेंटली स्ट्रॉन्ग रहना है हमें एक साथ है जैसे फैमिली लिया था तो आई थिंक वो बहुत हमें हेल्प किया एंड या सेकेंड डेवलपिंग बोलूंगा सभी टीम ने बहुत अच्छा एफर्ट दिया है those were indeed very emotionally charged words but of course words that reflected the emotions that the players the athletes and of course the coach goes through when we look at training and hard work and dedication that also goes into training the players i'm joined over here in the studio by senior sports expert and commentator ravikant singh and along with him i have senior sports analyst and commentator v krishna swami Good evening gentlemen and first of all congratulations to all of us as Indians today Krishna Swami did you expect us that we would go ahead and make history today by getting the well points? i i certainly expected it i wanted um, india to win a medal it was like um, 41 years since we last stood on the podium back in moscow in 1980 so certainly a red letter day for india and um, it could well mean the revival of hockey it's not as if um, hockey was uh, not on the frame uh, but certainly you know an olympic medal uh, does wonders for any sport one must um, commend the indian team they were trailing 1-3 at one stage but managed to pick up the pieces and went on to win a 5-4 uh, the germans getting a goal in the last quarter and then the indians actually did very well to guard their citadel and to ensure that the bronze medal didn't get away i'll pick on that and come to ravi to you now what do you have to say about the way indians performed today और आई थिंक इट वॉज अ मेमोरेबल परफॉर्मेंस और ये uh, दिन बहुत लोगों के लिए यादगार बन गया है लेकिन इससे पहले कि मैं कुछ और बोलूँ आपको इतिहास के पन्नों में ले जाना चाहूँगा ये तीसरी बार है कि भारत ने ओलंपिक ब्रॉन्ज मेडल के लिए मुकाबला खेला है और इससे पहले दो बार 1968 मेक्सिको और उन्नीस म्यूनिक हमने ब्रॉन्ज मेडल मुकाबला हारा नहीं है तो ये दिखा रहा है कि ब्रॉन्ज मेडल में हमारा इतिहास उतना बुरा नहीं है और आज भी 
पहले क्वार्टर में जरूर पिछड़ गए थे लेकिन सेकेंड क्वार्टर में दो पेनल्टी कॉर्नर पे गोल करके इंडिया ने लीड ली और उसके बाद ऑल दो हाफ टाइम पे स्कोर थ्री ऑल था लेकिन मोमेंटम हमेशा भारत के साथ था और सिमरनजीत सिंह और उपेंद्र पाल सिंह ने गोल करके जब पांच तीन का स्कोर कर दिया तो जर्मनी के हौसले पस्त हो रहे थे क्योंकि उन्हें पता था कि ये टीम अब आसानी से काबू में नहीं आएगी और यही कारण है कि उनके खिलाड़ी अंपायर से बहस कर रहे थे उलझ रहे थे अमूमन ऐसा देखा नहीं गया है लेकिन एक गोल से पिछड़ती हुई जर्मनी पांच मिनट में बिना गोलकीपर के खेल रही थी भारत ने उसका फायदा नहीं उठाया अलग बात है लेकिन यह दिखा रहा था कि वो कितने ज्यादा परेशान थे भारतीय रक्षा पंक्ति से जी और भारतीय हॉकी प्लेयर्स के लिए हमेशा कहा जाता है कि उनकी फिजिकल फिटनेस अप टू द मार्क नहीं है उस बात पर आप आज क्या कहना चाहेंगे नहीं फिजिकल फिटनेस में सबसे अहम बात होती है रोटेशन फ्रेश लेग्स हमेशा उतार रहे थे ताकि मिडफील्ड में कोई धीमा पर ना आए जो खामिया हमने देखी थी सेमीफाइनल में बेल्जियम के खिलाफ वो यहाँ पे दोहराई नहीं गई और प्लेयर्स ने डटकर मुकाबला किया और स्पीड हमेशा बनी हुई थी सिमरनजीत सिंह ने फॉरवर्ड के रूप में दो गोल करके दिखाया कि हमारे फॉरवर्ड्स हमेशा तैयार रहते हैं मौका मिले डी में तो गोल करने के लिए स्वामी मैं आपके पास आऊंगी And now we move on to the next event of the day which was definitely talked about a lot I'm talking about men's freestyle 57 kg final in wrestling where Ravi Kumar Daiya went on to bring a silver for India Just as he clasped Ravi Kumar for much of that contest it was a superb effort from the Indian wrestler against a man who just does not lose More on this the report coming up by Anand K It was yet another busy day for Indian wrestling at the Olympic Games. There were four wrestlers in action with the possibility of three medals, but only Ravi Dahiya got a silver. In the final, Ravi Kumar was up against Zavur Yugev of ROC. Despite him giving his best, the champion from ROC proved too much of a challenge. This made it a silver for Ravi Kumar. Vinesh Fogat, another medal hope for the Indians, started her campaign in the women's 53 kg freestyle event. She won her first bout in the round of 16 but lost in the quarter finals against Vanessa Kaladzinskaya of Belarus. Deepak Punia and Anshu lost in the repechage event today. That means just one silver medal so far from wrestling. Ravi aap se shuruaat karungi the best news of the day in wrestling of course Ravi Kumar Dahiya se with the silver. Dekhiye silver medal to hame milna tha isme koi do rai nahi hai kyunki ek bar aap final mein pahunch gaye to silver guaranteed ho jata hai lekin jis tarah se Ravi Kumar Dahiya ne aaj khela Zavur Ugweb ke khilaf bahut mushkil mein paya apne aap ko aur Zavur Ugweb unhe pehle bhi hara chuke hain world championships mein aur wahi galtiyan yahan pe dohra rahe the Ravi Dahiya to coaching team ko kafi mehnat karni padegi Ravi Dahiya young player hain isme koi do rai nahi hai aur is pehlwan ko अब सोचना पड़ेगा कि लोग समझ रहे हैं कि ये कौन से दाव लगाना चाहते हैं और अगर इन पर रोक लगा दी गई तो फिर इनके पास जिसे कहते हैं प्लान बी नहीं होता है और अपने आप को हमेशा मुश्किल में पाते हैं अंशु मलिक विनेश फोगत या फिर अगर हम दीपक पुनिया की बात करें दे खुडेंट लिव अप टू द मार्क टूडे वेल आई मीन वी thought that Deepak Punia Vinesh Fogat and Anshu had a chance for a bronze but unfortunately none of that materialized Vinesh Fogat lost early and then the the wrestler who uh, defeated her also lost before reaching the final so the chance went there Deepak Punia found himself slightly out of depth and that was um, a bit sad uh, Anshu goes I mean there really was no fight and uh, the wrestlers did well enough to try and get into medal contention at least through the repechage but unfortunately the medals didn't materialize it happens in sport but at least we had a sil- a medal through ravi so i think that was a silver lining truly well that is truly the silver lining of the day in wrestling from wrestling now let's move on to another sport golf where we had india's aditi ashok finish tied second in women's individuals finals today ravi aap se puchungi aditi ashok ki is performance ko aap kaise rate karoge given that iska round 3 kal hona hai ab round 3 aur round 4 dono baki hai to abhi kafi lamba fasla tay karna hai abhi 36 hole khele gaye aur 36 hole aur khele jane hain lekin achhi baat ye hai ki leaderboard ke upar banaye rakhte hain to zahir hai ki aap jo leader hai uske striking 
डिस्टेंस में हैं और तीसरे और चौथे दिन अब टी ऑफ होगा स्कोर के मुताबिक तो अदिति अशोक लास्ट बंच में होंगी टी ऑफ करने वाली ये फायदा होगा कि आगे प्लेयर्स का स्कोर कैसा रहा है इस बात का भी एडवांटेज मिलेगा उन्हें क्योंकि लीडर बोर्ड पे ऊपर है आप तो आप देख पाएंगे की कोर्स कैसा खेल रहा है कोई किस तरह की परेशानियां आ रही क्योंकि होल प्लेसमेंट हर दिन चेंज की जाती है ग्रीन पर और वहां आपको देखना पड़ेगा कि कौन से होल में आज डिफिकल्ट प्लेसमेंट है कौन सा आसान होगा और उसी तरह से आप अपने गेम को प्लान कर सकते हैं। ग्रेट एफर्ट बाई अदिति अशोक स्टिल होल्डिंग ऑन टू द सेकेंड पोजिशन बट प्लेयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ हर इज नेली कॉलर द वर्ल्ड नंबर वन हुज एक्चुअली फोर शॉर्ट्स क्लियर ऑफ है वाइल देर आर थर्टी सिक्स होल्स लेफ्ट इन द टूर्नामेंट लॉजिकली बट द न्यूज इज दैट देर इज अ ट्रॉपिकल स्टॉम अप्रोचिंग दॉल्फ course in uh, Kazumi Gaseki uh, which is just on the outskirts of Tokyo so that could actually be a problem and they say that over the next two days the weather is going to be pretty bad in that area so it is even possible that the tournament could be reduced to 54 holes instead of 72 that would mean that what Aditi has achieved so far is going to be very very crucial and I think that is what um, probably uh, give her a chance to go for the medal she's made very few mistakes in 36 holes she's bogeyed only once and uh, she's at uh, nine under so I would say that she's got a very very strong chance of a medal but the other girl Diksha Aldaga she is lying 53rd and certainly doesn't have a chance for a medal so still a great hope from golf Ravi aapke paas aaungi and puchungi ki men's 20 km walk finals ke andar aaj humne dekha ki Sandeep Kumar 23rd spot par unhone finish kiya with the timing of 1 hour 25 minutes and 07 seconds jabki first spot pe we saw Italy ke Massimo Stana the jinhone clock kiya 1 hour 21 minutes 05 seconds overall 23rd standing for our Indian athlete your view on that dekhi walk kabhi bhi India ke liye bahut bada event nahi raha hai aur amuman walk mein thoda sa ध्यान कम दिया जाता है और ये तो आपके 20 किलोमीटर वॉक है यानी कि आप स्टेडियम के बाहर सड़क पे चल रहे हैं और इसी कारण से कोर्स से फेमिलियरिटी होना ये बहुत जरूरी है अब जिस तरह से इंडियन एथलीट्स ने परफॉर्म किया कोई हैरानी की बात नहीं है लेकिन ट्वेंटी थर्ड आए शायद तीन चार पोजीशन और इम्प्रूव कर सकते थे अगर थोड़ा बेहतर परफॉर्मेंस रहता लेकिन उससे ज्यादा की उम्मीद हमें बिल्कुल नहीं थी what are the chances of indian women finishing off with the bronze tomorrow morning i would certainly put that the women are capable of picking up a bronze they showed it against australia that they are a team that they cannot be actually a uh, pushovers uh, they put up a great fight took the lead and held on to it against the mighty australians the australians might have started in a rather overconfident manner and they paid the penalty for it uh, but the girls i mean especially say players like uh, gurjeet kaur and of course rani rampal has been the pivot of the team and the all the other girls and savita in, under the gold i mean they have put up an absolutely courageous performance i would say it's an outstanding brave performance a team which was given no hope of getting maybe even into the quarter finals are actually now going to be fighting for a bronze medal so i would say godspeed and hopefully that this team can actually bring back a medal and if two medals from hockey from the single olympics that would be absolutely unbelievable the 13th of the tokyo 2020 summer olympics in the medal tally table china remains at number 1 spot with 34 gold 24 silver 16 bronze usa with 29 gold 35 silver 27 bronze is in the second spot and in the third position it is the host japan with 22 gold 10 silver and 14 bronze india's medal tally sports a better look with two silver and three bronze medals <laughs> We would like to remind our listeners that All India Radio will broadcast live commentary of the women's bronze medal hockey match between India and Great Britain tomorrow at 6:55 a.m. and you can also listen to live commentary of the women's gold medal hockey match between Netherlands and Argentina tomorrow at 3:25 p.m. <laughs> For all our listeners we have finally come to the end of our show today thank you so much for joining in and listening to our wrap up of Tokyo Olympics 2020 stay tuned to all in their radio on that note good night stay safe goodbye Tokyo Olympics 2020 Abhi aap Tokyo Summer Olympics 2020 mein aaj ke khelon ka lekha jokha sun rahe the pratibhagi the वरिष्ठ खेल पत्रकार वी कृष्णा स्वामी और रविकांत सिंह संचालक थी साक्षी मंडवाल कार्यक्रम के प्रस्तुतकर्ता थे एस बी वेंकटराम शिबु जॉर्ज और प्रवीण चंद ये कार्यक्रम आकाशवाणी के दिल्ली केंद्र से प्रसारित किया गया